Good morning, Phoenix High School. I'm Giovanni Pulido. And I'm Eurisa Diaz. Welcome to another PHTV newscast. Let's jump right into some announcements. Thespians will be performing community service called TOTS, Treat or Cheese So Kids Can Eat. It is a door-to-door -door food drive collecting non-perishables that will benefit the Mazla project. Theater students will drop off flyers on Saturday, October 25th, and will return on the 30th to collect the goods. This is their second year performing this community service. They would like to thank the high school and the Phoenix community ahead of time for supporting this project. Mediators, there will be trainings all week in Mr. Cornette's room. All are welcome. Do you have a brain? Do you enjoy competition? Looking for a new club to join? The PHS Brainwell team will begin meetings this Wednesday. Meetings will continue throughout the year on Wednesdays at lunch in Mr. Thiering's room. All are welcome and you should bring your lunch with you. Just a reminder that the detention room has been moved to Mrs. Carvalho's old classroom, room N107A. Do you play chess or risk or would you like to learn? Any students interested in a strategic board games club meet Wednesdays at lunch in Ms. Barton's room. Also in Ms. Barton's room is the anime club. If you would like to watch or talk about anime, go to Ms. Barton's room Fridays at lunch. Juniors and seniors, October 14th there will be a college fair at SOU. Sign-ups are in the College Center. While you're there, sign up for college presentations from schools like Willamette University, Linfield College, and the University of Oregon. Also, seniors, visit the Phoenix High School College Center website to see a list of scholarships available. Go to the College Center if you have any questions. Taking place only feet away from the College Center after school is ASAP. This program is for students who need extra support with their schoolwork. ASAP runs from 3.30 to 4.25 and there will, be a bu there will be a bus to take students home afterwards. Now we have an announcement for 9th and 10th graders. Jen Perry from College Dreams is trying to recruit 30 students to participate in a, th in a series of STEM workshops through RCC. There will be three sessions that students will attend and the focuses will be on industrial technologies, healthcare and business, and computer science. Go to the College Center for more information. Permission slips for the OIT trip are due this Friday, October 10th, so make sure to get those signed and turn to the College Center as <coughs> soon as possible. Anyone interested in being a part of the Phoenix High School Robotics Competition Club is free to join. Meetings are every Tuesday and Wednesday at lunch and after school. This club focuses on all aspects of robotics from construction to programming. Even if you have no background, you're welcome to join us in room N206. See Mr. Rhodes if you have any questions. Students. Homecoming is approaching fast, and this year we added something new to the festivities. This year we added a homecoming parade to the festivities that will take place the, a week from this coming Wednesday, and we have a segment about it. Roll it! Phoenix Talent School District has an awesome opportunity. The City of Phoenix and Phoenix High School will celebrate the 2014 homecoming with a parade through our city. City officials have agreed to close down streets and devote an evening to supporting this occasion. We will begin on Rose Street in Phoenix and end at Phoenix High School just prior to our Powder Puff football game. The Phoenix High School leadership would like to extend an invitation to all activities throughout the district to participate. Each club or activity would prepare some kind of entry, a float, car, sign with participants walking behind it, etc. to take part in the parade. It not only is a great way for Phoenix Talent to show our community our school spirit, but also a wonderful advertising opportunity as well. I hope you will take advantage and join us. I've talked with different clubs and club leaders around the school and the teams, and it sounds like people are doing anything from large extravagant floats all the way down to flash mobs, also including walking behind a sign, dancing through the parade. We can just fill the back of a pickup bed. We're not really looking for something big. We're not looking for something big or flashy necessarily. We're just looking to see whatever you can bring to our parade. And mostly the participants are what matters and people being there and showing up is the most important piece. Come show your private pride at this year's homecoming parade. Our festivities start, we start our festivities with a homecoming kickoff assembly on Thursday, October 9th. On Friday, October 10th, we start our class competitions with the window decorating contest. On Monday, October 13th, we officially start homecoming week. 
On Monday's dress-up day is comfy, cozy, slash pajama with He-Man Volleyball in the large gym at 7 p.m. On Tuesday, it's camel versus flannel and ultimate frisbee outside on the football field at 7 p.m. Wednesday is twin day with the homecoming parade at 6 p.m., immediately followed by powder puff football on the football field at 7 p.m. And Thursday, it's superhero versus supervillain with the window decorating contest judging. And finally, on Friday, Freshmen, you wear red. Sophomores, we were, uh, wear white. Juniors wear blue. And seniors, we wear togas. The homecoming assembly will be that Friday, and so will our homecoming football game, where our Phoenix Pirates will put in work and try to put the Climate Union Pelicans in the dirt. On Saturday, the homecoming dance will be at 8 p.m. in the PHS Commons. This year's theme is Mardi Gras. Do you want to help with this year's yearbook? Were you unable to get into the yearbook class? Don't worry, you're in luck. Every Wednesday in Computer Lab A, room N203, yearbook meetings will take place for students who are interested in working on the yearbook but are unable to take the class. <coughs> Feel free to come by this Wednesday and see how you can come be a part of this year's yearbook. See Mr. Rose or Ms. Singleton if you have any questions. The theme of this year's yearbook is Taking a Shot. This theme encompasses the Hollywood paparazzi concept of stars, spotlights, red carpet, red glitz and glam. We are holding a contest for the yearbook to see what Phoenix High School can make the best cover. The, <clears throat> the, the requirements are that the students design both the front and back cover that fits within the dimensions of the template. The art can be digital or hand-drawn. The contest will run through this Friday, October 10th, and the winner will also receive a free yearbook. So get on that, students. Mama Sal Salo and Michael Lee are doing their senior projects about Community 101. Community 101 is helping to improve the, our community through volunteerism and philanthropy. Our Community 101 group has $5,000 to give to a nonprofit organization that inspires change and encourages potential in one of four areas. Education, the promotion of healthy families, access to the arts, and environmental enhancement. We need your help so that our time and money will have the biggest impact. We'd like your input in determining a focus for this year's funding. Today in your advisory, you are going to receive a survey from your advisory teacher. <clears throat> Please choose a total of five issues and rank them in order of one to five, with one being of the most important to you and five being of the least concern. Community 101 would like to thank Phoenix High School in advance. La Clinica Services will be operating at our school again on Thursdays. If you have any dental, physical, or medical reasons, sign up with Mr. Achille in the attendance office, and they will attend you as soon as possible. Tomorrow, FFA will be holding a spaghetti feed dinner. The cost is $10 at the door and $8 in advance. It is now time for this week's lunch specials. On Monday, we have the Pirate Bowl. Tuesday, there's Sloppy Joe's. Wednesday's is chicken and waffles with tater tots. Thursday, we have a turkey gravy with mashed potatoes and roll. Friday is whatever you can find at your house because we don't have school on Friday. For those that don't know here, we are having something called Spirit Points. Next week is homecoming week and the great opportunity to earn Spirit Points. We have a segment to tell you what they are about, so roll it! What are spirit points? Spirit points are how we at PHS determine which class has the most school spirit. At the end of the year, during Spirit Day, the class with the most points gets the day off from school and goes to the Spirit Day party. This is an awesome outside event to kick off the summer, complete with food, games, and water slides. To earn spirit points, your class just has to work together and participate in events and assemblies during the school year. One of the best ways to earn spirit points is to participate in dress-up days, where students dress up for certain themes in the name of school spirit. All in all, this is an awesome event that the seniors get to enjoy. I mean, the winning class, but let's be honest here. Be sure to participate in the school events and start racking up your points, PHS. Especially you, seniors. Very well said. Seniors, let's keep our lead. Now it's time for sports. Monday, our boys' soccer team played home against North Valley, winning with a score of 1-0. to zero. On Thursday, they played at Mizama and destroyed the Vikings 7-1. to one. Their next home game is today at 4 p.m. at Cloverfields. 
Our girls also played on Monday against North Valley, falling 6-1. to one. They returned home on Thursday to play Mazama, falling to a score of 2-0. to zero. And today they traveled to Henley to take on the Hornets. In cross-country action, this weekend both our boys and girls teams finished 7th at the Oxford Classic Meet. On Friday, our football team traveled to North Valley to take on the Knights, falling for the first time this season in a close fought game of 19-13. In volleyball news, on Tuesday, the Hidden Valley Mustangs came into Pirate territory to take on the girls. The Mustangs came in with a perfect record, and our Pirates put that first blemish on the Mustangs schedule, winning three sets to zero. On Thursday, our, the girls traveled to Henley and continued winning. They won three sets to one, and they also expand their win streak to nine straight games without a loss. Nice job, ladies. Their next home, their next game is tomorrow, and then <coughs> that game will be a whiteout. So students wear all white. Fall sports athletes, if you have, if you want to get into any other sporting event that you don't already play in, it is now possible that you will get free admission for other sports games they, that you are not a part of. This will also hold true for winter and spring sports, but only for that respective season. The swing team has started preseason weight training after school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. If you want to be a part of this year's swing team, please see Coach Heath in the PHS weight room on those days. Students who were in the teen outreach program last year will be having a reunion and completing a survey. Please come down to the comments after PHTV. Now it's time for everyone's favorite segment, Trivia. Last week's question was, what day will the homecoming parade be? And the winner is... Jocelyn Burks in Mr. Carvalho's room. This week's question is, swing by Mr. Rhodes' room to pick up your gift card to Subway. This week's question is, who does our football team play for our homecoming game? Write your answer on a piece of paper with your name, advisors, and put it in the folder on Mr. Rhodes' door. And as always, this has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.